Hello girls and boys. Welcome back to Read Me a Story. I'm Pat Kazira. Greetings from Hong Kong and greetings too to my grandchildren, all six of them. Max, Theo, Josephine, Charlotte, Penelope, and Simon. All right, we're going to have another Pooh storybook today, Winnie the Pooh. So this will be our third one, but I'm going to show you my book first. I wrote it. It's called Tips and Tidbits for Parents and Teachers. This is for your moms and dads, and they can get it from amazonbooks.com. It will help them to help you with your work at home. It tells them all about the things I learned in my 50 years in the classroom, tricks of the trade, and I think it will be very helpful for them. All right, now, Pooh Bear. Today's story is called Happy Birthday Eeyore. I don't have Winnie the Pooh sitting here today because somebody borrowed him, but he'll, he'll be back next week. Happy birthday, Eeyore. Well, you know Eeyore, he's usually sad, lonely, grumpy, but all his friends in the Hundred Acre Wood still love him a lot. Eeyore was in his sad spot when Pooh stopped by. Eeyore, why are you so sad? Pooh asked. It's my birthday, said Eeyore. Your birthday? asked Pooh. Of course, said Eeyore. Can't you see the presents? Pooh looked around. No, said Pooh. The cake and candles? asked Eeyore. Well, no, said Pooh. Neither can I. Eeyore said sadly, and that gave Pooh an idea. He said, Eeyore, wait right here, and Pooh ran to his house. Piglet was there looking for him. I must get poor Eeyore a present, Pooh said. But what? Pooh looked around his house. He saw a small honey pot on his shelf. Of course, honey, said, cried Pooh. Piglet, what are you giving Eeyore? Well, I could give him my red balloon, Piglet said. Good idea, Pooh said. Piglet went home to find the balloon. Pooh left to give Eeyore his present. Pooh had not gone far when he felt strange. It was as if someone inside him said, Time to eat. Pooh sat down and ate the honey in the honey pot. He ate and ate. And when he licked the last sticky drop, Pooh asked, Now, where was I going? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yes, to Eeyore's. Oh, bother. Now what will I give Eeyore? Pooh began to think. I know, said Pooh. A honey pot without honey is a useful pot. Eeyore can put whatever he wants in it. At the same time, Piglet carried a red balloon to Eeyore. Hello, Piglet. He heard from above. Piglet looked up. Owl was flying over him. Piglet did not see the tree in his path. Pop! Piglet crashed into the tree. Oh, d -d 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 dear, said Piglet. The balloon broke. Piglet arrived at Eeyore's house. Eeyore, here is a birthday present for you. Piglet handed the broken red balloon to Eeyore. Eeyore sadly looked at the shredded red balloon. Then Pooh arrived. I've brought you a present, Eeyore, Pooh said. It's a useful pot. Eeyore picked up the balloon and dropped it in the pot. Eeyore, I am glad I gave you that pot, said Pooh, and I am glad that I gave you something to put into the pot, 
added piglet. Just then, Christopher Robin and Eeyore's other friends arrived. Christopher Robin led them all to Rabbit's house. They had a birthday party for Eeyore. Eeyore did not say much, but he looked very, very happy. Wow, that, that is one of the few times we see that Eeyore, Eeyore is happy. So that was a great story about his birthday party, and I'm sure it was a surprise. Surprise parties are such fun. Okay, girls and boys, we'll see you next time for another session of Read Me a Story. Bye for now.